Hello Scott class, I hope you're keeping happy and safe inside your home. For today's lesson, you will need number cards for the numbers one all the way up to 10. So as you see, I've got the number one and number two, and I have these numbers all the way up to the number 10. You will also need a really big pile of small things. So I'm using just little counters. You can use Lego or you have some counters at home. You're gonna need lots of these, okay? So that you can grab and count from. So make sure that they're small so they can fit on your number card. So if your number cards are small like mine, you'll need something a little bit smaller. Or if you've got bigger number cards, you can use bigger pieces of paper and then you can use bigger objects. So off you go and get the things you need now. Stop the video. Welcome back. I need your help to count the right amount of each of the objects onto my number cards. So I'm gonna move the camera down so you can see there. So I've got the number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all in front of me. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the right amount of counters on each of the numbers. Can you help me? Okay. Let me get the counters ready. How many do I need on this one? I just need one. What about this one? One, two. I need two. What about this number? What is this number? It's the number three. So I need three. Can you help me count? One, two, three. Okay, what about here? How many do I need? I need four. Can you help me count to four? Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, what about this number? What's this number? It's the number five. So help me count to five, are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. What about this number? What's this number? It's the number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. What about this number? What number do I need? Seven. Okay, I need seven things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, what about this number? What do I need? Eight. I need eight. Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What number do I need here? Nine. Okay, let's go. This is why I told you that you need lots of different objects. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And what about here? I need 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let me put these over here because I don't need the rest. Can you stop the video and fill all of your number cards just the way like I have? I want you to make sure that you've got the right amount of objects on each card. So make sure that you count them and double check. Off you go. Stop the video. Welcome back. What we want to do is we want to pick two of these numbers to come together to make 10. And we're going to use our part whole model to help us. We're going to have to think very carefully of what are the number bonds to 10. So if I look, I'll move you down again, at the different numbers, what two numbers could I put together to make 10? Well, it doesn't look like I can put together these numbers. That won't give me enough. And if I put together these numbers, that will give me far too many. I'm going to use my knowledge of number bonds and my knowledge of what two numbers come together to make 10 to try and see if I can find the answer. I know the numbers two and eight come together to make 10. We used our hands, didn't we, to find other number bonds, which is something you can do to help. 
hold up 10 fingers and put down some of your fingers. How many are down? How many are up? Them together make 10. So let's see if we can use the part whole model for the numbers two and eight. So let me turn you around. Okay, look, I put two in one circle and eight in the other circle. I took them off my number cards and I stuck them on to my part whole model. So obviously you won't have to stick them on, but if you could draw a part whole model, you can put one of your piles in one circle and the other pile in the other. Let's push the numbers together to make sure we have 10. So one, two, two, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's put them up. Let's count how many we have all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two and eight together made ten. Fantastic! Well done! I wonder can you use the part whole model to try and find two different numbers that come together to make 10 using your pile of cards that you've got in front of you. Remember you can use your fingers to help you find the number bonds to 10. All you have to do is put them in front of you, put some numbers down and then the numbers that you have down and the fingers that you have up come together to make 10. That's your first challenge. Then are you able to try and think of three different numbers that come together to make 10. You won't be able to use the part whole model because there's only two circles, but instead, could you try and put the piles together on your table and try and write a number sentence for what three numbers come together to make 10? Take care, Scott class, and I'll see you in our next video.